Welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the mind of Fred Bonaparte, who is, of course, having a life or death struggle with the uh, image of his ancestor, Napoleon. Here's I've been kicked back out of the uh, the tiny world and into the big world. Word to the wise: Give up while you can. Fred's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> I can burn wood with my mind. Well, that would be how you say, uh, cheating. Oh, that's right. Dang, board games have rules and stuff. Yep. Man, this salt shaker way. I'll bet the real Napoleon huh? never had to worry about stuff like this. It does that every once in a while, where it suddenly skips a chunk in the middle of an audio line. Man, this salt shaker is totally in the way. I'll bet the real Napoleon never had to worry about stuff like this. Wait, this isn't even a real salt shaker. I don't know, maybe he has a fixation on salt. I barely know this guy. I'm just looking around the board, mostly. Oh, okay. I did think I saw another one of those around here somewhere. I'm just thinking to myself, if that's Napoleon's base, then... Oh, I don't know. I don't even understand how this game is played so far, so I guess I'll just, uh... What am I meant to be doing right now, anyway? Recruit a peasant to fight Napoleon soldiers. Recruit a carpenter to repair the bridges. Uh... Carpentry! If I've been standing a foot to the right, I'd have that uh, figment right now. How the hell am I meant to do those? I can't levitate that high. Can I? No. Not crazy moon gravity in this level. Not that it matters now, but he suddenly remembered where he left his keys. Okay, I guess I'll just say hello. Hello in there. Any carpenters home? Go away, burglar. I'm not a burglar. I'm a recruiter for Fred Bonaparte's army. We're a little light in our core of engineers, see? Listen, I know you're a burglar. I've been listening to your footsteps on my roof all night trying to break in. Why don't you just slide down the chimney? I got a nice fire going for you in here, Mr. Burglar. Okay, if I'm a burglar, then how can I be down here talking to you and up on the roof at the same time? Maybe you're a ventriloquist. Listen, if I go see what's up on your roof and take care of it, will you come out and help fight Napoleon? Maybe. Good enough. The timing on the sensor going no was uh, kind of perfect. Wooden haystacks. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that makes sense under the circumstances. The wooden trees make sense, but not so much the wooden leaves. By the way, so it doesn't make sense of the Napoleon theme, but uh, according to the save screen, this level is called Waterloo World. I assume that's the name of the board game. What the fuck am I doing? Going to the roof, that's right, I knew that. How the fuck do I do that? Uh, that's right, yes. I to get in here, they showed that. For a reason. Is it mirror to these textures look worse than most of the ones in this game? Maybe that's intentional. Yeah, you know, since I'm on a big blown up game board and all. It does help me feel very tiny. What is that? Well, it's a squirrel wearing some kind of helmet, anyway. Hey, you shit. Oh, I can't stand on that little ledge there. Damn! Oh, that doesn't lead across the way. I'm a fool. Oh, I don't know how to get huge again! Let me see... 
This one actually leads over here, so I have to go up to the top of the guillotine. Uh, actually, on second let's not go into this part of the guillotine. Can't talk to this despite those things. Wait. What if I do this? No. Okay. Second thought. Oh! Geez, I was just trying to get vertical. I didn't. This is really gonna do my head in, isn't it? I don't even see the cork anymore. So it's not just this map blown up. You know, that doesn't. Although I am pretty sure that it's literally the same texture right there. That would explain that. Okay, so some parts of it are blown up and some are not. I mean, that was easy, but... Hmm. Can I talk to you from up here and... No. Oh! Ladder! I might as well. Hello. I'm recruiting for the army of Fred Bonaparte and... Go away! Fred Bonaparte has forgotten the people. And we have forgotten him! What? Fred loves the people. He was just telling me that some of his best friends are, um, the people. He has abandoned us. He doesn't care if we live or die. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll talk to Fred. I'll talk to him, and I'll prove to you that he cares about the common man, and that the fight is not meaningless. I'll believe it when I hear it from him. Don't tell anyone, but the fight is technically meaningless. Uh, I haven't done, haven't done that yet. I'm just saying the fight is technically meaningless because it's a board game. Wait, no, the water isn't just painted on. I knew that. Uh, can I... Oh, jeez, this is gonna be a... I don't know if I can make that. Missed. Oh, yes, good. Didn't miss that. Uh, there it is. Talk to Fred. That one seems easier than the other thing. Aha! Oh, that's right, yeah. That's gonna be a problem. Hey, Fred! The problem is, people think you don't care. What? I care? Then lead them to victory, Milky Toast! Shut up! They think you don't care if they live or die. What do they want from me? A notice on my official stationery that says I'd be sad if they died? Yes. Yep. Huh. Well, that doesn't work. Let me guess. You give up? Bingo! Ha! Another game at which I would surely defeat you. Hey, you take that little victory if you need it, tiny man. It really impresses me that he still got the straight jacket on, so he couldn't have written this note with anything except his mouth or his feet. And I will not be hearing arguments to the contrary. Does it always make that little noise? I guess I didn't notice because none of the other areas are that quiet. It does! Huh. The more you know. I'm saving this note for that guy who thinks Fred doesn't care about him. By the way, I really like how all the figures I've spoken to behind the doors are, uh, are actually little wooden dudes. Uh, yeah, this one, right next to the chopping block. Important message from your fearless leader. Oh my god. He does care. He does. I knew it. Fred Bonaparte is the greatest leader of all time. I can't wait to die for his cause. Well, you might not die. You might win. Hey, he's a great leader, but he's still Fred. Ooh. 
Okay. Hurl my innocent bones into the cruel machine of war. I'm ready. Wow. He's taller than I expected. N move the newly recruited militiaman piece next to Napoleon's soldier. Okay, but before I do that... I do want to see if this is actually where that leads. Oh, good. It's doing this. Noted. Oh! Pants. Come on. There we go. You know, I think I might have actually taken these uh, patients on, so to speak, in uh, order of severity. I mean, they're all really messed up, don't get me wrong, but, you know, from the outside, the only thing wrong with Edgar is that he was strangely fixated on bullfights. Uh, Fred, on the other hand, is literally having an entire conversation over a war game with himself. And Gloria just seems to be so locked in a delusion that she's just hallucinating 24-7. You, know, you know, they're talking to those potted plants and stuff as if they were a, a, her adoring audience. Well, I could go there, but well, it's not where I wanted to. What? Dang, Nabbit, I thought this is where that cable went. Oh, what? Oh, the chimney! I touched the chimney updraft. Huh. Oh, you're not cobwebs. You're... Oh, you're a headless woman. Okay, I see where this is going. Nope! Uh, don't stand right there, Jesus! Oh! I'm trying to remember how not to drop down. Is it A? It is A. Really, this is happening now? Oh, I can't. Mm. I can't do things in the cable. Hey, I blew up your friend, and I'm not sorry, just FYI. I mean, in fairness, literally all they do is filter things out. I don't think the sensors can actually understand a word I'm saying. Excuse me? This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Do I not have the duffel bag? I thought that was the only one I had. No, I have the hat box. And I already did that fellow over there. Name of which I can never remember. No! Well, dang it. Well, you hang on, friend. I'll be back for you. Dang it. Ow. I like that one, where they just blow up after a bit. Oh, right! You needed to be killed. Um... Still just a bug, yeah. Okay, this this I haven't found the one sensor who's going to like me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pray that that root is just you know not actually hay thatch. Score. No, I don't think he liked that very much. I don't think they like anything very much, to be fair. Here's an encore. Oh, dear. Why, hello there. Fred versus Crispin. Fred! Wait. Oh! Crispin isn't the orderly. Fred is. Waterloo, O. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Uh, Fred's the orderly at an asylum. But again, probably not this asylum because it's been closed for 50 years. Crispin was a patient he felt bad for. So we played the game with him. And lost. That's what he was... Sorry, that's what Napoleon was saying at one point. It's outside, I think. He lost his, uh, a simple war game to an invalid. I feel like the uh, other one is going to make that situation even worse, because let's face it, the second one always makes the situation worse. Okay, maybe I was wrong about that. Oh, wait. It was a ramp. Okay, uh, first things first. No, wait, if I do that, that guy up there might respawn, so I'm gonna talk to this guy first and fix the bridge, and then move the piece to fight the soldier. Okay, you can come out. Burglar's gone. Wow. You're pretty tough for a ventriloquist. <laughs> okay, here I come. Just show me where there's some wood to work on, and I'll go to town. All right, now we're talking. This is a big map. Uh, yes, that's right. Sorry, I kind of spaced out for a second there. He's still taller than me. Okay, I don't actually remember. There it is. That's right, menacing this peasant. someone else's pieces. Hey, don't touch my pieces. That is cheating. Yeah, okay. I had a feeling. Hmm. Well, let me see. Uh Oh no, not you. I need to move you over here. I'm sorry. No, red, red. What am I doing wrong here? Yeah, that works. Oh, god damn it! Yeah, they told me that in, uh, explicitly. I need this to do this first. Okay, so it's good that I got both of those. Oh, now who went and broke my beautiful bridge? Don't worry, darling. I'll get you fixed up good as new in no time. Man, I am good. Mm. I'm gonna move you out of the way. That's a good spot as any. Ah, ah, take that! Die! Uh, I kill you! Sacre bleu! I cannot believe it, Fred! You have accidentally done something right! I have? Yes, but I'm afraid it's still not enough. More manpower! Ah, oh, mon dieu! I hate bridges! Thankfully, I have just the guy for that. Kidding my father. Bridge. Uh. Hey, stop killing my bridges! You're making me mad. Oh, jeez. I guess the other guy did give his life. Shit. Word to the wise: Give up while you can. Because this is the Fred's same thing gonna again. win. <laughs> I can burn wood with my mind. Well, that would be how you say, uh, cheating. Ta-da! That was easy. 
Stronghold stormed. Game one. <laughs> oh, you have to storm the stronghold with your knight, you stupid fool. Oh. <laughs> I like that. I haven't actually just talked to Napoleon from his ridiculous chair. Hey, big guy. Excuse me, Mr. Bonaparte, but how do you play this game? Ugh, this game is so easy, even a child like you can play it. All my worthless descendant has to do is move a knight piece into the center of my stronghold. Ha <laughs> ha, but his knight isn't even on the board. He's hiding out in that house. Well, maybe he's got a good reason. And knights are good at storming strongholds, but they are no good at field combat. So he'll also need a strong militia to fight my soldiers. So you see, it is an easy game, but Fred has already lost it. Not this time. This time, we're going to win. No, we're not. Fred, shut up. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me try something. The soldier also sees me as Napoleon. What does Napoleon see me as? A game piece. Yeah, that makes sense. What about my, uh, carpenter? No, I'm just Napoleon again. Okay. Well, I guess in the next episode I talk to this house, now that it's no longer being oppressed, and, uh... Oh, I see. This is blocking the way to the bridge for my engineer. I don't know where to put this. I'll figure that out in the next episode of Let's Play Psychonauts. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you then. Later!